Bird Dog have some really great options for varying budgets when it comes to full NDI PTZ cameras. And in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at their newest camera to join their portfolio, which strays away from the rest of the other PTZs as it's actually their first block style camera called the PF120. So yes, it's a full HD block camera, so no moving external parts whatsoever, and it's all built around a rather hardy metal block casing. It does feel very solid. It's actually probably one of the most robust cameras of this type that I've certainly used. However, internally, there are some moving parts as it does sport a 20 times optical zoom lens. So you've got plenty of range to work with. Now that lens does also have a 49 millimeter front filter thread. So if you wanna add filters or even a wide angle converter to give you a wider field of view, then you do have that ability. Now the sensor in the PF120 is actually the same Sony chip that's found in the Bird Dog P100, just with a different Sony imaging module since this has double the zoom range of this. Now on the rear of the camera is where all of the physical connections are housed. There's a locking DC power port, although this camera, much like the other Bird Dog cameras, can also be powered via PoE+. And this Ethernet port is also used for the NDI video transmission and IP control. There's a full-size HDMI output and a USB 2.0 port for plug and play with the computer to act as a webcam in the likes of Zoom and Teams or whatever video conferencing platform you wanna use, very much in the same way that the P100 does. Now these outputs are all active, so you can actually use them all at the same time should you wish. There is also an RS-232 port for control if you wanna use a serial controller along with two 3.5mm jack ports for audio in and out. And underneath, there are two mounting points for rigging this camera in place. Now, unlike all the other Bird Dog cameras, you may notice, if I just flip this round like this, that this one doesn't have a Bolin logo anywhere on the body. And that's because this is the first camera that Bird Dog have designed completely from the ground up as opposed to developing their cameras based from Bollins tech. So this one is really the first thorough bird dog camera. So let's get this camera booted up so we can look at the live video feed and jump into the menu system. And if you haven't done that before, it's as simple as getting this on your local network, opening a web browser on a computer on that same network and typing the IP address. Now, if you have used the bird dog camera before, this GUI will look familiar. And if you haven't, then here's a very quick general run through. Here we have all of our networking settings for the camera. Then if we go over to AV, we have our encoding settings for the full bandwidth all I NDI codec. And this does have a variable bitrate that you can set. So plenty of oomph when it comes to encoding. Then we have our resolution and frame rate options for this camera. We can then move over to our audio controls and we can set the in and out gain for those two ports on the rear of the camera. Now, if you want an IFB comm system without any extra kit needed other than a headset really, then we can switch the audio channels from embedded to bird dog comms. You can then run the free or the pro paid for version of bird dog comm software on a computer, and then you'll instantly be able to communicate from your computer to all the operators who are stood next to the camera. We then have options for controlling our exposure with different auto priority options and of course full manual. Our white balance, and then our general imaging controls. And you can see all the settings that we have available here. Now the PF120 does give you a lot of control when it comes to adjusting the look of your image. On the next tab, you even have a color matrix with 64 levels of saturation and hue control, which should really allow you to easily match this camera to others. There's also support for Crestron libraries, RESTful API, Zoom Room integration API, and the HTTP API. You have got tons of options when it comes to integrating this camera. So I hope you found this intro to the PF120 useful. If you have any questions, then do just put them in the comments and I will get back to you. And if you want to find out some more information on this camera or other bird dog cameras or anything else that Holden stock, then of course, just go over to the Holden website. Thank you for watching.